guess what time it is? It's time for my bang. <laughs> yeah. So, no, I didn't cut my hair, but I have to. I have to cut these bangs. Anyway, so, this is what we have today. We have more pizza. Look, Pink Fairy, pizza. This is more Domino's pizza. This is a pizza that my son had wanted. This is A. Can you tell what it is? It was a big, great debate. Did pineapples belong on pizza? I think so. Anyway, it has pineapple and ham. I think bacon, and it's got red peppers and onion. Mmm. Oh, Hawaiian pizza. He wanted that. And there are three pieces left. And he was supposed to eat these for breakfast, but he didn't. He left them in the microwave. Well, guess what? It's lunchtime now, and he ain't home. And they sat out, so. Mine, 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 mine. And I got some marinara sauce. Hmm. Success. I got a little piece of crust I tore off. Mmm. I really like Domino's. We were buying Little Caesars. Because you can get the extra pepperoni $6 pizzas, but I don't know. They seem much better. The crust is buttery and garlicky. So, guys, my conversation today, I don't know if anybody watches this or not, but it's a dish with Adam Barda. You gotta go over there and watch the dish. It's very interesting, okay? But here's the thing. It has a lot of haters. It seems like everybody's hating everybody. And Cynthia Beaumont is one of the producers, I guess, or whatever. She's a crew member of the dish with Adam, Matt, and God knows who else. I don't even know who. But... If you guys are familiar with Cindy, Cynthia, sorry, she probably don't like being called Cindy. If you're familiar with Cynthia Beaumont, she was married to an elder, elderly gentleman, but she was married to him 20-something years, so he wasn't real elderly when they got married, but then, you know, she's young. She's like, I don't know, he, he was 72, 73 when he passed on. And she's like, she just turned 50. I do love Bobby Gold, baby. So, where do you go about the age difference? Anyhow, to make a long story short, the breakdown of the thing, her husband, Tommy, got esophagus cancer. And because he was older and weak and very scared, he didn't make it. They did a horrendous surgery on him to try to get all the cancer out. But because of his condition, you know, the doc I think the doctors kind of thought this was going to be a good idea because I don't think they would risk things. What? I need a baby doll. Oh, she wants a baby doll. Next weekend, maybe. Okay. So, Tommy agreed to surgery, and he was healing, and then he just kept getting sicker, and he's losing lots of weight, you know, because cancer eats people up. And he had a feeding tube. Feeding tube came out a couple times, and Cindy inserted the, Cynthia inserted the feeding tube back in. Now, see, only my opinion, I don't think I would have done that. But she did it, and the doctors checked it out, and she said they she did good. So, you know, kudos to her. But 
I don't know, she's being accused of, you know, like all this elderly abuse and stuff like that. Mmm. Oh, hard pizza. Anyway, I don't really think that she, whoops, flying paper. I don't think she abused Tommy. I think she tried her very hardest to help him and get him better, and she's alone. In New York, she don't drive. She's disabled as well. She's got scoliosis really bad in her back. And then her poor old sick husband. How's she going to get him from point A to point B? And the COVID stuff, the pandemic crap going on. It was a really bad situation, but she handled it pretty well. And recently she got rid of a bunch of stuff in her apartment that reminded her of Tommy's family and Tommy and stuff like that. And, you know, the bad time, which I think was really good because, you know, sometimes I know she loved Tommy, but you have to move on. And if these things were hurtful to her, why keep them, you know? Her apartment was like really cluttered up with all kinds of stuff, but now it's getting uncluttered and it looks, you know, pretty nice. Anyway, she's on the dish. And people keep leaving the rudest ass comments to her regarding the situation with Tommy. Now, you know, if they, they want to make fun of her, because of humping her back, or because she's the blood queen, she's very flamboyant, or she talks really loud. I have a lot of New Jersey friends, and they talk I loud. Bit, Same thing as Cynthia. So, oh, you have baby shark socks. Oh, baby shark socks. Baby shark socks. She says they stink. I do. Does your feet stink? No, I do. They probably smell like the cheese on my pizza. Hardy har har. But anyway, so they keep bringing up this Tommy thing, and it's like just so low class. That's really hurtful, you know, because he died. Why, why would you? Why would people like be so cruel and talk about this and rub this in her face? She's married to him a good long time, and I'm sure she did love him. But now she wants to just forget the hard times, which I don't blame her. But anyway, I wish people on the dish would just leave her the fuck alone when it comes to this kind of stuff. You know, why? To me, that's really, really low class, poor taste. You know, when you talk about somebody's death, death is for real. So what if you don't like the way she looks or how she acts or whatever? That's okay. Everybody can have their own opinion. And you can have your own opinion what happened with, with her and Tommy. But you don't go broadcasting, you know, really negative, nasty shit that's very personal, like the death of Tommy, and, and trying to be mean to her just to deliberately hurt her. That was so wrong. I guess they were justifying this because Cynthia went to, to um, Florida, Bubba's in the house, Diet Mountain Dew. See, I don't know all this backstory of these people coming forward. But anyway, they were in the Halloween store, which has all kinds of costumes. And Cynthia put this hat on that said SWAT team. You know, at first I was kind of like, what the fuck is a SWAT team? Okay. I'm ghetto mama, and I lived in the hood. Still live in the hood, but I live in the hillbilly hood now. When they do a SWAT here, every sheriff in the county comes around here and surrounds place. I guess that's a SWAT. Well, I used to live in the hood. The RPD popos would pull up with their canine unit and surround people and stuff like that. I guess that was a SWAT, but I didn't, I, when I hear the word SWAT, I'm thinking SWAT and a kid? SWAT and a fly? We don't use that term out here. It must be an East Coast thing. But, yeah. So anyway, she put this hat on, and she said something. 
I really didn't hear what she said, but something about somebody getting squatted. And she was joking, and I don't think, see, I don't think that um, she deliberately did that to try to hurt anybody. I really don't think so. I think she was just in jest making fun because there's all these Halloween costumes on and stuff like that. But anyway, I think her name is Munching and Chatting, her channel. So she got totally offended. I guess she was swatted. I don't know if she was or not because I'm just new to this munching and, and chatting. I like her, though. I do. I like her. In fact, I subscribed to her channel. Sorry, Cynthia, but I did subscribe to her channel because I kind of like listening to what she says. I liked her grocery haul, too. But it totally offended her, this woman. I mean, it offended somebody else, too. And my house was swatted one time because I used to live like down in the hood, a very gang infested area. This is gang infested too, but it's like hillbilly area, okay? Up here, they don't have little Saturday night specials. They have shotguns. If they put a shotgun in your face, they ain't gonna miss you. You know what I mean? Even though it's in the country, it's more dangerous up here than it was down there in the hood, for real. <laughs> These, these motherfuckers don't play. In the hood, everybody's cool with everybody. You know, but anyhow, so, what was I saying? Oh, so anyway, I guess somebody got swatted, but here's my take on it. Like, when I got swatted, I guess that's what you'd call it. If they'd come in your house and you're not doing nothing wrong, you don't have any contraband or anything. You're not doing any illegal activities. Don't have nothing that you shouldn't have. Then why the fuck you worry about it? Yeah, come on in. That's why I say, hey, cop or any legal person, come on in. Check me out. Yeah. So I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing to hide. Let me drop my drawers and spread my cheeks. Yeah. I ain't got nothing to hide. So why should I worry? It's like, you know. I don't know what the reason why this lady got swatted. Maybe they were looking for somebody else. Maybe they, maybe it had nothing to do with her. I don't know. Like I say, I don't know the story, but she is very upset over that. Very traumatized. But I personally don't think that being traumatized over that has as much weight as being traumatized over a death of someone watching somebody die of cancer slowly. You know, I just don't think that was fair. But I'm sure I'm going to have a par par parade of haters tell me different. That's okay. I don't care. Bring it on, haters. I don't care. Yeah. More views. More views, more comments. Just makes my channel better. I'm a loser, though. I've been out here five years, and I only got 400 and some subscribers. <laughs> Imagine that. But I don't put that many videos out. Or my content isn't that interesting. So, anyway. Adam says most of the stuff is scripted. Somebody else said that it's real life, but it is scripted. So, I don't know. Maybe it, maybe when they mean scripted, see, when I think, when I hear the word scripted, I think you read the script, you're told what to say. But if it's real life, maybe it's scripted like, oh yes, the script is, we're going to go to the Halloween store, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. But then the conversation seems to flow on these things. Oh, there's baby mama. Her um, needs a haircut. I don't need no haircut. She's got a haircut. She's just, she's bald. She I looks like a cancer haircut. patient. Haircut. You got a haircut, duty. She got a haircut. I trimmed her bangs the other day. Oh no! I, I had to do mine too. What? You want a haircut like mommy's? No. Mm mm. You're too cute. If you have your hair cut, who's going to put ponytails and piggy tails in your hair in the morning? Because you won't have enough hair. 
Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Is it okay if I lay down for an hour? The boys are laying down. Yeah, go ahead. Turn off the kitchen light. Give me the yeah. little remote so I don't have to listen to Blue's Clues. It's kid business and little boys are taking their nap now. They just had their lunch. They're banging on Wendy's chicken nuggets and french fries. Wendy's chicken nuggets are the shit, though. They're really good. Yeah, when she gets done with her nap, then we got to clean the house. It's not really dirty in here, but I don't know. When you have kids, it's ongoing picking stuff up off the floor and stuff like that. So, yeah. Don't have no dirty dishes in the sink. I'm always washing dirty dishes. I have a dishwasher, too. Do you know that I don't use it? But anyway, this is around 16 minutes. I still have this to eat, which I'm going to eat it. But I'm going to let you go, guys go off here because I'll come back for another subject later. Oh, and I have to make a Walmart haul or Sam's Club haul because i got to restock my shelf. So I was thinking about sitting here doing a meal plan with you guys so you can see what I meal plan during the month so that I know what to shop. But I have to, to restock my shelves. They're looking pretty bad. I haven't stocked my shelves, I think, since mm, January. And we've been eating, you know, so i got to restock my shelves. Anyway, I'll see you next mukbang if you choose to come back. And if I offended you, munching and chatting, if you're watching my video, I'm so sorry. I would really like to be friends with everybody because... This is a really great community. I've met so many people. Well, not met them in person, but met them, you know, like through the internet here. So many really cool people. And I don't think there should be any animosity or any jealousy or any, like, cut downs from anybody. I mean, we're all in this together. It's a pandemic, right? I don't know. I'll see you later.